Welcome to another tutorial video in the FX Factory podcast series. FX Factory is a powerful plugin architecture and offers the ability to download and purchase great plugins from talented third party developers. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you some great transitions from the Boink's FX Tiles Premium FX Pack. Boink Software is a well known Mac developer that has won multiple Apple Design Awards. I'm in Final Cut Pro, but the Boink's transitions work in Final Cut Express as well. They are located in Effects, Transitions, Boink Software. I've got three clips on my timeline, and I'd like to have some great transitions over the two cuts. Let's start with the Flip and Reveal 3D transition. You can immediately see that this transition does what it says, turns the first clip into a bunch of tiles, flips them over to reveal the second clip. I'll go through some of the presets to find something I like. I like this preset Stripey Wipe Across, and I'd like to tweak some of the values to my liking. As with all FX Factory plugins, the online help is only a click away. The most obvious values we can adjust are rows and columns. We'll keep it at one row to preserve the Venetian blind looking transition, but I'll adjust the number of columns down a bit to give me thicker blinds. I like this effect, so I'll save it as a transition that I can use later. For the next cut, let's use the Shatter and Rebuild transition. Again, there are a ton of great presets. This Stick Fight preset is great. As before, I'll tweak the amount of columns. This time, I'll increase this value to give me thinner and more sticks. Animation Curve controls the geometry of the animation. There are diagrams of each curve in the online help. I'll leave this at Quadratic In-Out, which is a nice, natural, ease-in, ease-out style of animation. The rotation animation is generated randomly, but you can control the animations more by setting limits in the min, max, x, y, and z angle settings. Additionally, there are settings for a virtual camera. We can set it to rotate around the given axis and control the direction. I'll bump the rotate number of times y up to two, which will add an extra spin and add to the chaos of the transition. I like this preset, so I'll save it. Another cool feature of these Boink's transitions is the fact that they have an alpha channel, so I can bring in my own solid color or custom background on the track beneath for some added zing. FX Tiles offers a trial period. This is a great one to try out. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.